Hey guys, welcome to the Marissa Ng official channel where we help businesses to grow. So today's question that I have for you is this. How many of you truly understand your employees, you truly know what they can do, and whether they are capable for the journey ahead and capable of helping you arrive at your goals? How well do you know your employees? Check out this video. So it's a little bit like a, a general of an army. If you're gonna go into battle and you're gonna send your troops in, you gotta know what your troops can do. You gotta know each and every man, all right? These men, are they better at marching in? Are they better on foot? Are they better at archery? Are they trained for uh, shooting off the cannon? What are they trained for? What their skills are? And if you're gonna go into battle, you gotta know your people inside out. And that's, that's just the same with being in business. And you see, this is one of the things that I really wanna, I wanna share with you. And you know, a lot of the time as employers, we're, we're hiring for skill, yeah? We check out the CV and we go, oh, this is marketing, background, good, sales, yes. Voila, all right, you got the job, all right, let's come on in, let's do the interview and then you got it, right? But this is the thing as well. If you're like the minority of employers that I know that hire for attitude, remember this. When you hire for attitude, you're also asking yourself, what kinds of characters, values, and attributes this person has got to have that will align with my business and support me, and more important, align with my values? And this is one thing that I know. This is one thing that I know. People definitely have a very good attitude when they're doing something that they're good at. You know, people have bad attitudes when they are doing stuff that they're not good at. And it doesn't matter what they study and what they were, what they qualified in. If you take a look around at your friends, you know, just pick your 10, 12 friends that you have, take a look around. How many of these people are working an excellent career doing exactly what they study? Now, I know I'm doing something that I didn't study for. There was no business coaching degree, but I'm doing well at it right now. But it's definitely what, not what I studied. I studied to work in a bank in finance. But take a look around you. Take a look at your staff as well. And if you're hiring for the skill that they studied, their background, hmm, ask again, how many people around you right now are actually doing what they studied? So hiring for attitude is more important, but when you hire for attitude, you need to also understand what are the strengths that your employees have? What are they really, really good at? And that's what today's video is all about. The best leaders I know, they know their employees. It doesn't even matter whether you have five people in front of you, 50 people in front of you, or you have 500 people. Even if you have 500 people, you got an excellent HR team that know how to farm through the capabilities, the skills, and the abilities of each and every one of your employees. Because if you do not know your employees well enough, a few things are gonna happen. Number one, they're just gonna be demotivated. Yeah, they're gonna be demotivated because, oh, you know, why am I doing these numbers? Why am I handling the data? I prefer to be out there handling people. Number one, your employees are gonna be demotivated. You want them motivated to work in your company. Number two, you start getting work slower and slower because they're actually not good at it and it's like pushing a big rock, a big boulder up a hill when you can actually push it down the hill and you just roll, wow. Well, how do you know some, how have you, have you experienced some employees that do work so easily, snap at a finger, and some others are just struggling with it because it's just not their strength. And third of all, you have a really unhappy bunch. You come into the office and everybody's like, oh, you know, I don't wanna come to work and you know, and you've got a whole lot of other, other attitude problems to have to deal with in the company that you don't have to if you were running a motivated and proactive team. So let's talk about some ways that you can actually understand your people a lot better. Number one. Number one is to conduct psychometric. Yeah, I conduct psychometric uh, tests for all, uh, all of our candidates, uh, people that are coming in to work with us, as well as our existing employees. We encourage all of our clients to do a psychometric. There are all kinds of psychometric tests, yeah. The ones that we use is called the DISD, the DIS test. If you really want the link, it's, at, it's below in the description. But otherwise, there's Myers-Briggs, there is, um, AccuMatch, there are all kinds of fantastic psychometric, but you gotta be able to do this. Use a psychometric test. A lot of employers are guessing, hmm, 
what this person can do. What if else this person fast paced? You know, sometimes she's fast, but sometimes she's slow. Hmm, I'm a bit confused. So you're guessing most of the time, but if you do a psychometric test, it does help you to understand your employees better. I'm not saying that's the only thing that you need. You gotta do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna share it in a bit, but doing a psychometric test, understanding his or her behaviors and characteristics will help you a lot better instead of having to guess, all right? Number two, and I love this, just ask your people. Ask them, ask them what they love doing, what they find a struggle, where did you experience stress, which project, which part was stressful. Don't leave it vague, you say, ah, oh, uh, this project on the website was a struggle for me. Yeah, okay, project on the website, whole big thing, but which part, you know, and drill in. Drill in so that you understand your employee, where was the struggle, what happened, what were the exact scenarios, and to be very, very honest with you, all you gotta do is to be able to ask. Ask them and they will tell you because they can tell you where it's stressful for them. Number three, observe where your employees are struggling. Observe. The earlier one is you ask, but number three is you observe and with your own eyes, you're watching how they're struggling. A client, a client of ours um, actually uh, delegated and assigned an event uh, to one of his employees and uh, she's never organized an event before but it seemed that you know she should be able to do it as you know his assistant. So when time came closer and he checked in, he realized with multiple check-ins, this particular employee was even struggling to speak to suppliers, getting numbers of caterers. She was just not resourceful in that way. And upon checking in, she's realizing, hmm, something is wrong. We're getting closer to the date and we still don't have finalization for the caterers. And so one of the things that you can do is to observe. Uh, 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 take time to delegate this stuff a lot earlier, especially if this employee is new. If this employee is new to that project, and if you watch one of my other videos on the art of delegation, if they're new, uh, maturity in that task is a little bit lower than the others, then you gotta take the time, give it a lot more time instead of do it too close to the event. But when you do that, you start checking and going, huh, she's not getting this at all. I think I need to coach her better to be able to do this. So observing your employees are a very, very important part to be able to understand what he or she can and cannot do. So gang, I really hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I think at the end of the day, understanding our employees, understanding the people that are on our right and on our left, that have our back when we go into battle, when we're competing out there in a very competitive marketplace, understanding our employees, our greatest asset, our people are really important. If we don't do that, then we are literally going in as leaders, as a one-man show and we're there to battle off and fight off everybody, but that's not business. A great business has a great, team of people that understands. Now, it's not just you understanding your people, but do your people understand the rest of the other people as well? Now, that's really, really crucial. It, I can't stress the art of listening to your employees and sometimes you need to listen to the stuff that they're not telling you. Sometimes your employees are not just gonna say, hey boss, sit down, I have something to tell you, I gotta get it off my chest. Some employees, some of them, some of them are like that, but a lot of them are just gonna, I can't tell this to my boss, I, it looks like a sign of weakness, I'm bad, I'm useless, I'm not good. No, and sometimes, as a boss, you need to be able to hear the things that they're not saying because sometimes they're just not gonna tell you, you gotta use your own eyes to observe how he or she may be struggling. But I can't stress it, the art of listening is a big part of being a leader, all right? So gang, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please share this video if you feel that there are other people that are struggling with your employees. Uh, like the video if you like it, but definitely, we offer so many different types of information like this on a weekly basis. So do subscribe to the Marissa Ng official channel so that we can offer you tons more information. If you wanna be able to get informed immediately when a video comes out like this, just check out the little bell button next to subscribe. So you click on subscribe and you click on the button, the little bell as well. That bell is gonna send a notification right to you the minute one of these awesome videos are up. So I wish you a fantastic week. Remember this, have a great business and have a great life because being in business is about more life. Take care, see you next week. Test one, two, testing, testing one, two. 
Hey guys, so welcome to the Marissa.